Children in East Sussex have been commemorating the men from their town who died in World War I by planting a tree to represent each life that was lost. The latest elm has been planted at Seaford Head School this morning and eventually 104 will be planted across the town. It's hoped they'll become a lasting natural memorial and also that they'll benefit the environment. Ian Palmer has tonight's special report. The good men of Seaford in 1914 about to answer the call from their king to serve their country. Around a thousand left for France. 104 of them died. Today at Seaford Head School, students plant elm trees in their memory. People in Seaford uh, helped in the First World War and the and the ones that died, we were planting trees for them. Although they look very small, these trees, elms are, are very vigorous. So what you'll find is within a couple of years, they'll be a really nice size. They'll really make an impression. The trees are hardy, just like the men they represent. The saplings are resistant to Dutch elm disease. So the white lesser hair streak butterfly, um, with the decline in elm trees, um, we saw a massive decline in this butterfly because it relies solely on the elm tree. It feeds on it. Um, it relies on it for its life cycle. Here at Seaford Head Golf Club, more elm tree saplings have been planted. Between 1914 and 1918, three of the club's members died fighting for their country. It's as if no one and nowhere has been left untouched by the conflict. I think we can say that the war affected every family in the town and most houses and certainly every street in the town would have had soldiers, husbands, uh, sons that would have gone off to fight. And I think that because lots of young men came into the town for the camps, I think the women thought that they should do something. It's been very fun and enthusiastic because I've had to do lots of jobs and I, I've really liked it. It's a great day. More trees will be planted next week. New life nurtured to honour past life lost. Ian Palmer, BBC South East Today, Seaford.